NASCAR Gander RV and Outdoors Truck Series heads to the Irish Hills of Michigan to kick off. Race 11 of the year, Michigan International Speedway sets the stage as teams once again battle to secure a spot into the playoffs. And we are going to break it all down here on race day. Hey, everybody, welcome into the show. I'm Kayla Vinci alongside Phil Parsons, Todd Bodine. As I mentioned, we're going to Michigan. That's your hometown. You like the music. You like the feel of this place, right? Oh, I love it. I went to the first <laughs> cup race back. Hello and welcome in to this Tuesday edition of NASCAR Race Hub. I'm Kayla Vinci alongside NASCAR veteran Ricky Craven and crew chief at the number 34 driven by Michael McDowell, Drew Blickensdurfer. And it's another great race last night at Bristol Motor Speedway in the Xfinity Series. And we'll talk racing in just a little bit. But first thing we want to do is address the unrest happening all over the world, especially here in the United States, sparked by the tragic death of George Floyd. And yesterday, NASCAR released this statement. The NASCAR family, like so many others, is hurt and angered by the immensely troubling events that have taken place across our country in recent weeks. For us to heal and move forward as a nation, we all need to listen more and be united in the stand against racism, hatred, senseless violence, and loss of life. And we must all hold ourselves accountable to driving positive change. While our sport has made progress over the years, there remains much work to be done, and we fully embrace our responsibility to help bridge the racial divide that continues to exist in our country. We must do better and our commitment to pro promoting equality and inclusion continues and will never waver. Bubba, you mentioned getting the support from, from your peers and today the hashtag Blackout Tuesday is all over social media, uh, including from many in the NASCAR community, everyone posting uh, just a black image as a reminder to reflect and of course reconnect with the community. So how does that kind of make you feel seeing all those posts like that, many of them coming from your fellow drivers? Yeah, no, I think that uh, it was big. I was really proud of NASCAR for stepping up and, and delivering that message. And Thank you, Larry. Uh, he made a good point there. Who's in the 48 or in the future? Anything you want to share with us? Ooh. I, I'm sorry. I, did I miss it? <laughs> I guess we're not getting... i got getting... my analyst hat on right now. Okay. We broke some news a couple weeks ago. Fair we're enough. hoping to do it again I today. I know, but it looks like we're going to have to Stay wait tuned. on that. Stay tuned. <laughs> to be determined. All right, I want to talk about this duo, though, for a moment. Cliff Daniels, Jimmy Johnson. It's been over a year since they've been paired together. Uh, what have you been seeing out of them as of late? Well, I, I... Kevin Harvick wins in Michigan. Michigan saw a dominant performance. Yes, we're saying those words a lot out of Kevin Harvick and the four team as they took home their fifth and sixth wins of the year. So how's Harvick feeling after this weekend? Well, Matt Yoakum caught up with driver four and winners wrap up. I'm going to do plead the fifth now. Three questions. You can only plead the fifth to one of them. The first one being in regards to the stressful times. What is your alcoholic drink of choice to deal with the stress? <laughs> um, I. I really like um, Mick Ultra is pretty good. I, I uh, had it here on Race Hub to welcome in one of those inductees, Dale Earnhardt Jr. joining us. First and foremost, Dale, congratulations. So very deserving for you to get inducted into the Hall of Fame. Has it set in for you yet that you're going in? Well, it was really emotional to be uh, to see my name pop up on the TV screen. I learned it right around the same time as everybody. Joey, we've talked a lot about racing, and we love following you and your wife on social media. Saw a video you post on Instagram, an ice rink with your son Hudson saying the fundamentals of the Logano Loop. Uh, tell me about this experience and how the family's doing. Oh, you know, I'm trying to teach my kid to do other things besides playoffs. NASCAR making an announcement to what the rest of the regular season and the postseason two will look like for the Gander truck. So here's how we stand tonight. Michigan International Speedway. Of course, we've been talking about it. We look forward to seeing what transpires in tonight's race. Then the Gander trucks will be heading off to Daytona International Speedway for some road course racing. This is sure to be exciting, followed up by another event at Dover International Speedway at the end of August. Then we're headed to the Worldwide Technology Race at Gateway and then to Darlington. This is so exciting. It's been added into the fold for the Gander Trucks along with Richmond Raceway in mid-September. Those two racetracks have caught my eye in terms of the rest of the regular season. What about you, Todd? Well, I gotta tell you, I cannot wait. We do welcome in Regan Smith and Drew Blickensdurfer. You guys uh, parked a little weird here to get into the studio. What's going on? 
Huh? Didn't stop in the stall. Stop, yeah. Yeah, didn't, no. hit the, didn't hit the sign. And I got to say, you, you seem like you're out of breath. There was a lot of news right there to get to. <laughs> there was. But, but a little right. bit more big news that was announced here a little over a week ago. Congratulations. We haven't oh, done a show together yes. since then, Caitlin. That's right. Yes. yes, I'm having another baby. We're very, very excited. So a positive thing and a bit of a crazy <laughs> year, right, guys? Well, very <laughs> excited. Looking forward for a brother or yeah. maybe another sister? She keeps saying sister, but, you know, she doesn't actually have a choice. So well, we'll congratulations <laughs> to you and Blake. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate that and as you mentioned Regan tons of news I want to start with the Levine family racing your take on the announcement well I'm, I'm sad I think is Fred uh, that is impressive oh, I was like a snake charmer huh hell no Ward. <laughs> hell no that's all that is not a snake that is an anaconda that's straight out of a movie that is larger than life to get that out of here yeah, yeah that's I'm yuck. scary I am not a snake fan I'm looking at the tractor behind him more than anything else I just rather not <laughs> worry about the snake she's a tractor run over or something like that not a snake guy here but yeah. uh, Ward I I can see that at a Ward I commend him. You know what? Yeah. I want a Ward Burton voice on the GPS because I could oh. just listen to his voice telling you what to do, right? <laughs> I would get lost because I wouldn't be able to understand it. Sorry, Ward, but I'd be lost every time. He'd tell me to turn right and I'd probably go left. So. Oh, well, that's true. That's <laughs> a Virginian accent. Come on now. <laughs> two, two roads too far. Well, you should have turned back there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Also, that's right. If it's a Virginia accent.